as are we all. Last week's tornadoes have put some northern Kentucky farms out of commission while leaving some of their horses severely wounded as well as homeless. So as the rebuilding begins, 9 News reporter Jessica Noll shows us where some of the horses have gone for help. Horses are pretty tough. They can handle a lot. Folks are still healing from the tornado that ripped through Peach Grove March 2nd. Some of its deepest wounds are evident on those who cannot speak. Andy and Six Pack are two of several horses and mules dispersed to other farms until they heal and their fences mended. Huh. Tracy Spinlaw, horse caretaker and president of the Northern Kentucky Horse Network, knows what it's like to lose everything. We lost our house to fire about in 2000. And I know that when you're rebuilding, that's what consumes your life. So I knew that this would help my friends out the most if they just didn't have to worry about these guys. So she's caring for these two from Peach Grove. Their owners lost their home, three barns, and two horse trailers in the storm. An aftermath spin law describes as a war zone, a battle that Andy and Six Pack are still fighting. Six here, his leg has got um, a laceration on the back of his leg, and he does have stitches. The mule, Andy, he has four spots that are, um, weren't able to be stitched. They're going to take a lot longer to heal. And um, they just kind of look like it's been through a meat grinder. It's pretty nasty. Andy also had an inch and a half long piece of broken bone pulled out from under his eye. But with daily care, they're healing as their farm is rebuilt. I feel like I'm really helping with these guys because I know how their owners probably feel. In Ryland Heights, Jessica Knoll, 9 News. If you'd like to help volunteer with the tornado effort, we have lots of ways you can get involved on WCPO.com right now.